Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial, and today we're going to go through some of the ship's laundry spaces. These spaces are all the way back aft on third deck, just aft of some berthing spaces. These spaces would have been run by the ship's servicemen, uh, specifically the S3 division, and they were exclusively for washing your uniforms. That's not a problem up until the 1980s on this ship, because you weren't allowed to uh, have any clothes on board besides your uniforms until then. However, in the 1980s, you were allowed to bring civilian clothes on board for when you went on Liberty. But you couldn't wash them in here. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll show you one of the two places on the ship where you could wash them. Uh, so our first stop is a space recently cleaned up by the Cristanzi family, a group of volunteers that comes out uh, a couple of weekends every month to do some volunteer work. This is the dry cleaning room. There are a ton of wool uniform parts from the uh, regular enlisted jumper, the winter jumper here, all the way up to uh, things like pea coats and uh, bridge coats, officer's coats, things like that. So these are dry clean only, and so there's a specific room just for that purpose. Next up is the washing room. So the ship has three of these Dyna Wash washing machines. And you can see from this one over here, they open, they've got room for uh, an amount of clothes. This closes, you can spin it and there's, ugh. other areas for clothes in here. So, um, then you close this and the thing works. I'm not quite sure how to use an industrial washing machine. Next up, we've got a set of four dryers. Each one can hold up to 50 pounds of clothes at a time, whereas the washers can only hold about 33 pounds. Uh, the washers, remember, are getting the clothes wet so they become heavier. The dryers get 50 pounds and uh, Remember to clean the lint filters after each load. Same goes for your house. Next up, we've got a whole space dedicated to steam presses. You ever wonder how they get those nice crisp seams in all the military uniforms? They've got a steam press space on board. Finally, there's a large vestibule space, which has a big counter for folding all the clothes and then storage racks for putting stuff in. Uh, there are laundry baskets in many of the birthing spaces. Probably all of them had them uh, at one point or another. And just, you pull down a drawer and there's a section for white clothes and a section for colored clothes and a basket that collects at the bottom. Each division had their own days of the week that they could get their clothes washed. So they come through, they get washed, and everything's folded up and they get sent back to the division. The uniforms would have the individual sailor's serial numbers stenciled into them so you knew whose was whose and then it gets given back to them at the end of their uh, at the end of this whole process. Now we are in one of the heads, the bathrooms, that's off of the tour route. There are at least two of these heads that in the uh, 1980s when the crew was significantly smaller they deemed it appropriate to remove some of the shower stalls and put in what I'd term an unauthorized ship alt. It seems like between the two of these spaces that we know about, there were four washers and four dryers. Um, there may be others that we're not aware of, but that seems like an appropriate number to me. So uh, for the washers, they just installed them right here over where the shower stalls were so they could just drain directly down the old shower drains. Uh, for the dryers, they just ran uh, power to a junction box that was sloppily welded to the uh, bulkhead, and that's how they did it. And in some cases, they ventilate them out into a void space. Uh, in some cases, they're not ventilated at all. So, why did they install these washing machines? In fact, this one is just forward of laundry. Why did they install these civilian washing machines if we've got laundry on board? Because Ship's crew doing laundry will only wash uniforms. If you've got your civilian clothes on board, you've got to wash it yourself. So they bought these machines out of the Welfare and Morale Fund, um, install them themselves, as you can see from just the cutaway shower stall here, and 
That's that. So how often do you have to do laundry at home? I can't imagine how frequently they were doing the laundry back here with just the uh, four washing machines and four dryers for, with just the three washing machines and four dryers for up to 2,000 crew. Uh, it seems like an insane number of uniforms that must be going through. And of course the Navy doesn't issue you um, an infinite number of uniforms to work in, so you've only got a couple of days worth before you've got to get them washed. So the, uh, those poor S3 division guys were sure kept busy. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals. We really appreciate the support that viewers like you have given us. It allows us to continue to make these videos on top of our day job. And uh, we really appreciate that. So there's a link in the description below if you would like to continue supporting the museum and our channel. You can also support us by liking and sharing and subscribing so more people find out about us. Thanks for watching.